Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a ton of you have been requesting I do more hair care content and specifically a lot of you were asking about a brand called Function of Beauty. So I reached out to them and I am partnering with them on this video. So thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. So in today's video, I am going to be giving a full review of the shampoo and the conditioner running through the ingredients and giving you all my thoughts and feels. So if you want to see my biochemist perspective on the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start things off, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what Function of Beauty is. So they are a hair care brand. They offer customizable shampoos and conditioners based on your hair type and then also your hair goals. So when you go to their website, the first thing that they want you to do is to fill out a quiz where you can put in all the information about your hair as well as what you would like to achieve in the future with your hair. What are your hair goals? So for my experience personally, I chose that I have wavy hair, which I do. I have fine hair, but I do have a lot of it. And then my scalp moisture is normal. I don't really have dry or oily scalp. And then for my hair goals, I chose to hydrate, lengthen, shine, strengthen, and volumize. So in their words, hydrating your hair is to restore your hair's moisture balance, prevent future moisture loss, and treat your hair with long-lasting hydration. Strengthen is to increase your hair's resilience and elasticity and protect your hair from breakage. And lengthen is to promote healthy hair and scalp for longer, stronger locks. Volumize is to rejuvenate limp, lifeless hair with noticeable volume and cleanse hair free of buildup, which may be weighing down, weighing hair down. And then finally, shine is to enhance your hair's natural shine, luster, and reflection while improving your overall hair health without weighing hair down. So those are the ones that I selected. Um, I do have fine hair, but I do have a lot of it. Um, my t hair tends to be a little bit more on the frizzy side and it can be quite flat at the same time. So I do like to have a little bit of a volumizing action in my hair as well. So from there, you can also select your fragrance. I chose fragrance free just because I am sensitive to scents and I'm not sure which ones will bother me or not. So I did fragrance free. And then you can add color to the shampoo conditioner as well. This is especially good if you are trying to get rid of brassiness out of your hair. So I think they add some like purple, um, purple dyes or purple compounds in there to kind of counteract that. But for me, mine are dye free. So the bottles are pretty cute. You also can customize your name. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it does say function of Kenna on it. Also with the conditioner, it does say function of Kenna on it. Again, it's pretty hard to read though because um, they are white and the writing is white as well. But I've been using this for a couple months and as you can tell, I've only used a little bit. For me, a little bit goes a long way. They also do provide recommendations on like how often you wash your hair. I probably wash my hair about two to three times a week. And when I do so, I use a ton of shampoo, a little bit of conditioner on the ends, and yeah, so I haven't gone through much, but I have been using it for quite some time now. So these products are vegan and cruelty free if you're looking for those options. And what I really do like about the way they have things set up is you can get fragrance free um, and dye free shampoos and conditioners, which can be actually quite challenging to find. And then also as your hair kind of changes, whether that's with weather or just over time, you can adjust your hair goals and they'll adjust the formula for you to suit your better needs at that time. So I do think the concept is really cool. I have been enjoying the product so far. Um, so if you are interested in trying out the products, I do have a link in the description box below for 20% off your first order with Function of Beauty. So that's just a little bonus in there for you guys. So now I'm just going to get on to more of the review portion of the video. I am going to be walking through the ingredients list for both the shampoo and the conditioner. They do also have some other hair care products like they have a mask, they have leave-in treatments, um, but I'm not going to cover those in this video. I'm just going to be focusing on the shampoo and the conditioner specifically. Okay, so when you get your order, you do get this Function of Beauty card. <laughs> Sorry, that might be kind of loud. With it, it has all of your hair goals and kind of your custom formula on it. It has your personalized regimen and then um, it also has the ingredients list. So the full ingredients list is not available on the website only because they do fine tune and add ingredients based on you filling out that quiz. And I am gonna get to that right now. So let's just dive into those different ingredient options. 
So if you do go to their website, functionofbeauty.com slash ingredients, they do go over what ingredients they add in when you select certain hair goals. So I am just going to cover the ones that I selected, but you can kind of play around with this and see what ingredients they're going to add based on your hair goals. Now with hair science, it is very hard to actually have clinical evidence behind any ingredients that are being used. Most of the data surrounding hair science is going to be um, private, like just stays with industry, companies do their own research, and that kind of stays within, or it's going to be anecdotal. Um, clinical studies relating to the hair mostly actually just relate to the scalp. You can't really go anywhere to say, oh, I need a product that's going to fix my dead ends and get a prescription for it. So for that reason, most ingredients relating to the hair are not clinically studied, but they do show great anecdotal evidence. And then also tons of different hair companies will do their own studies in house, um, but that knowledge is just not public. So relating to these ingredients and whether they actually do what they say they do, it's hard as a consumer for you to do that research on your own. Um, that's why it is just kind of nice to play around with these formulas and see if they work out for you based on what your hair goals are. Okay, so starting with hydrate, they're going to be adding coconut oil and aloe vera. So they do say that coconut oil provides immediate immediate nourishment so the hair appears softer, silkier, smoother, while also helping to lock in essential moisture. And then aloe vera gives the hair an extra dose of moisture, leaving it smooth and shiny. So with coconut oil specifically, it is actually well known and studied that coconut oil can penetrate into the hair shaft and really moisturize your locks. So that is definitely a good one in there if you need to hydrate your hair and then retain that moisture. So my next hair goal was strengthen. And for this one, they add horsetail extract, which helps support the structural integrity of the hair while also helping to improve the hair's shine sorry, sheen and texture, and then evening primrose oil, which supports healthy growth and provides nourishment to the hair. For my next hair goal, lengthen, they add pea sprout extract, which promotes healthy hair growth at the root and helps prolong the life cycle of your hair. And then they also add blue green algae extract, which aids overall hair health by increasing scalp circulation and follicle stimulation for longer, stronger hair. Now for volumize, they add sweet almond extract, which forms a protective coating around the hair so that it is shinier, more voluminous, and is also easier to style. And then also they add quinoa, which helps to repair damage to the hair shaft while its protein coat strengthen and protect the hair from breakage and damage. And finally, my last hair goal was shine. So for this, they add acai oil, which promotes intense glow, revitalization, and capillary hydration in the hair. And then Amazonian babassu oil, which forms a protective layer around the strands to enhance shine, while also revitalizing the hair to give it an overall healthy look without weighing it down. So those are all the ingredients that they're going to add into the formulation based on my specific hair goals. Now I am just going to walk through the ingredients that really make up that base formula and what they're doing in the formula, essentially. So for the shampoo, the ingredients list contains water. Next is sodium laurel methyl ice isothionate. Now this is a really great surfactant if you do have sensitive skin, if you're looking for a more gentle option, if you're looking for a sulfate-free option. Um, this sodium laurel methyl isothionate is a really great one to look for in your hair care products. Uh, next they have glycerin followed by cocoa amidopropyl betaine. So that cocoa amidopropyl betaine is going to help the foaming action of the main surfactant, which is the isothionate one. This ingredient is again really gentle on the skin, usually used at pretty low amounts so it's not going to irritate the skin and just really increases that foaming action and that lather in the product itself. Okay and next we have a lot of the ingredients that they did add in for my specific hair goals. So they have things like the hydrolyzed quinoa, the sweet almond extract, the equisitum our vents extract which I think is horsetail, and then a few different extracts like the algae etc. They also do have some peptides, such as the Pomatol Tripeptide 28. They do also have some polyquats in there, which are quite conditioning for the hair as well. And then the rest of the stuff in there is very related to the formula, um, either for stability or as a preservative. Okay, so next for the conditioner, um, the ingredients are water, acetyl alcohol, satyryl alcohol. So those are two vegetable waxes. Um, they're usually in combination with these other two ingredients that I'm going to mention next, but I do have a video all about alcohol and skincare. These are those same 
types of vegetable alcohols so they're not harmful to your hair even if it says alcohol it's not going to be drying or stripping to your scalp as well these are like fatty alcohols that come from vegetable derivatives so next we have behentrimonium chloride and quat quaternium 87 those are both really strong conditioning ingredients they help really coat the hair and then like seal it in and protect it it gives it like a nice like soft silky feeling as well it gives it like that slip in the shower so those two ingredients will often be found in conditioners and they and they serve a really important purpose as far as actually conditioning your hair okay and next we do have a ton of the ingredients that they said they would add based on my hair type so things like the aloe vera extract um, they have vitamin e coconut fruit extract coconut oil shea butter sunflower seed oil, pea spread extract, evening primrose oil, just a ton of different extracts and oils. They do have a hydrolyzed rice protein in there. And then basically after that, there's just a ton of different ingredients that make up the, again, the conditioner base, um, as well as any formulating ingredients. So we have stabilizers, thickeners, and preservatives. Okay, so overall, the ingredients in the shampoo and the conditioner are going to be very gentle, very effective on the hair. With the shampoo, you have a very good surfactant that is both gentle but really good at kind of cleansing the scalp and cleansing the hair. And then with the conditioner, it is going to really coat the hair, condition it properly, and leave it with that positive charge so that it remains silky and smooth. So overall, these formulas are giving you exactly what you need for your hair. And it is cool how you, with those added kind of extracts and oils, you can play around with them, fine tune them, look at your different hair goals, what ingredients they would add if you select that hair goal and just get the perfect formula for you. Like I mentioned before, my favorite part is definitely that they are fragrance free and that they are dye free. In addition, as your hair changes over time and with weather and things like that, you can really change the formula up to suit your specific needs at that time. I'm definitely the kind of person that likes to switch up my shampoo and conditioner basically after I finish the bottle. So this gives you the opportunity to kind of have a fresh shampoo conditioner experience, um, adjust your hair goals based on how your hair reacted to the last shampoo conditioner that you're using, and then just kind of experiment to play around with something moving forward. I also do really think the value is there. Like, like I said before, I've been using this for two months and I've really barely dove into the products at all. I wash my hair about two to three times a week, but because the formulas are so effective and are quite strong, not stripping or anything, just they're good formulations. Um, you know, the shampoo is quite effective with just a few pumps at really cleansing the hair and scalp. And then the conditioner, I just use a pump or two and really work it through the ends and then a little bit um, more at the top just to get away any frizzies and flyaways that I may have as well. But yeah, overall, I do think it is a really fun thing to try. I do like the personal customization of it. It's pretty cute to get a bottle of your with your name on it that is designed just for you. So if you are interested in trying out Function of Beauty, definitely use my discount code down below. It's 20% off. Um, I don't make commission on the link, but it's just a discount code there for you guys. And again, thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. I definitely am going to make a couple more hair care videos specifically on scalp, dry scalp, irritated scalp. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.